Hello, and happy Friday. Welcome to Fluke Fridays. Today, what we're gonna go through is a tool that not a whole lot of people realize, or some people don't realize, that Fluke has as, an, as a tool. It is um, not Fluke's traditional electrical measurement tool. We're actually not measuring anything, we're just capturing an image. This is a boroscope. And where does this boroscope play? Um, where, why did Fluke come to market with it and where um, do we see it fit in the market? Remember, Fluke is an industrial company uh, that makes tools for industrial users. So this is not gonna be the home use tool unless you got very deep pockets and uh, just wanna spend the money on a, a nice tool. But when Fluke came out with this boroscope, they didn't wanna go after the super high-end market that aviation boroscope inspection, although we have had some customers use it for that, um, most of the time those customers are buying anywhere from ten dollars to $20,000, very expensive tools um, to do their scoping um, and their inspections. This tool is not going to be on that low, low end for the home user or um, the contractor that only uses it once in a while because it's, you know, there's a lot of options out there for just a couple hundred bucks. But all of those have similar screens, very small three inch screens, similar feature set. Fluke has a greater feature set and then also a much larger screen and better image quality, which people like, but at a lower price point than those super high end ones. So if you're wanting to spend, if you're an industrial customer, you're wanting to spend somewhere between two and $3,000 and that makes sense for you and your budget, this might be the right tool for you guys for inspecting gearboxes, looking around corners, looking through pipes or conduit, just trying to find things, get your head or get some eyes where your head can't get to so that you guys can see things you can't see otherwise. So let's jump into it. We'll look at what comes with it, go over a few features, and then we'll be done. So as you can see here, it comes with a nice uh, like hard soft case, kind of combo case. Um, the tool is what it looks like. You guys will get to see a little between the reflections and where this camera's pointing, you'll see some of my office today. Um, but as we turn this on, you'll see the splash screen. This is a DS703FC. There's also a DS701 that's a little less expensive. It doesn't come with the FC version, so you don't get the um, you don't get the wireless capability and a few other things. So you'll have to look at the data sheet for the exact differences, or if you have it, questions, um, I can explain that in the comments later. But, as you can see, I can see around the room, okay? And I can see me. So, if I look at me, and you can see my head is up right now, but the screen's kind of wonky. And if I rotate this camera, I don't know if I can do all this on camera at the same time, but if I rotate it, see how I'm rotating it? I don't know if you guys can tell that, but the camera is moving I'm rotating it and the screen keeps getting wonky or less wonky but my head is still at the top of the screen. This feature is called up is up and I think it's a really great feature. If you go into options and you go image, you see that up is up is on. If I turn that off, the screen will look normal but now I'm sideways. So if you're inside a piece of conduit or a pipe, this helps you keep your orientation as you're going through. Now one question people have is, well, can, does it have a camera at the end? It does, if we click right here and scroll forward. Oh, the camera's not, there you go. You can see the, the light on the end of the camera. Okay, I'm gonna turn this off real quick because I'm gonna bring it real close to the other camera. So you can see it's got a in camera. It also has a side facing camera. So why would you ever wanna do the side facing camera? Well, if you do the side facing camera, you're going down a piece of um, conduit or pipe and you're looking forward, you use the end camera and then you wanna look sideways, you can do this without having to turn the camera or have a fancier borescope where you can articulate the, um, the, the camera at the end, okay? So that's the main thing. You can capture images, you can capture video. Um, so you can do both with this camera and it's got really good image quality. The, you see best the image quality if I, uh, let me turn this off rotate to the end, and I'm gonna turn the uh, light back on. What you're gonna see is the image quality whenever it's really close, which normally you are gonna be close, you can really see some really good image quality. Um, 
You can see my fingerprints and stuff. Please, nobody steal those. I use them every day. But, um, anyways, you've got really cool image quality up close, and that's the main features. Oh, I guess from the top, some people want to know this. What are the ports you get? You get an HDMI out if you want to stream to a, a screen. Um, USB cable for downloading images. Just connect your USB cable to your um, PC and use Flute Connect um, to download that. And then over here, if I can get this camera out of the way, that's the USB uh, charging port. So that's where you charge your battery. And then right here is where your camera is connected. So if I pull this off, you see it's uh, one of those connections. And so the question I get a lot of times is how long is this camera, right? So this, the camera that comes with it is just under five feet. We have other options with the same kind of camera that has a forward facing and side facing lens at, I think it's around 10 feet. And then there might be one other, but you'll have to look at the accessories. And then we have a longer camera, but it's only forward facing at 60 feet. And then we have a couple other cameras that are different lengths with smaller diameter cameras to get into smaller places with, that are only forward facing as well. So I hope this was a good overview of the borescope. Maybe helped you understand that Fluke has something you didn't realize they had before. And if you're an industrial customer and you've got the budget for this and it would make sense in your budget, let us know and uh, we'd be happy to work with you. Hey, hope you're having a great day and you have a good weekend. Take care.